The average person wastes about 20 pounds of food a month. Now, not only does that hurt the wallet, it harms the environment. In a landfill, it's so compacted that there's not air. So the aerobic activity that is needed to break down the banana peel, for instance, isn't there. So it actually releases methane instead of CO2, which is 25 times more harmful to the environment. Justin Kaser, a sustainability specialist, has three ways we can reduce this waste. First, food storage. You don't want to store uh, vegetables alongside fruit. That's because it accelerates the ripening process. You also want to avoid storing your herbs in plastic bags. Herbs are really great to store in water as you would like fresh cut flowers. Get a little mason jar, slice the bottom of your herbs, put them in the water and they're going to be good for over a week. Switch out the water every couple of days and pick them as you need. Asparagus is another great one to keep in the water. Again, you can just break it. Wherever it snaps is the perfect place for cutting it. Next, buy frozen. It's great because the freezer product is picked at the peak of ripeness. So you're getting the freshest product. You can take it home, put it in your freezer. Bonus, usually frozen fruits and veggies are less expensive. If it's a topping for your cereal, whatever it may be, just use what you need and you don't run the risk of it going bad in the refrigerator. Finally, shop in the bulk bins. If your recipe calls for one cup of quinoa, that's what you can get. And also you're saving on the packaging too. Saving food, money, and the environment on The Breakdown.